Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, Learn Smart Coding. This is Karthik. Thanks for joining with me today. So in this video, what I'm going to cover is how to add the authentication and authorization part in your Angular application. The concept that I'm going to use is very popular one and very secured one, which is Azure Active Directory Business to Consumer. In short form, we will call it as Azure AD B2C. So we will go through the Azure AD B2C concepts and we will also see how to do the app registration and configure these things in your web API and the Angular application. This is part three, creating user flows. Come, let's take a look. So on my screen, if you see, uh, once you go to the directory that you created, you should be watching the previous clips so to understand this flow. So I'm on this directory and uh, you know, once you go to Azure AD B2C to the left side under the policy section, there is something called user flows. So click on the user flows and click on new user flow. And you see this, uh, there are built-in user flows. So like sign up signs, like sign up, sign in, password editing, profile editing, you know, all those flows, right? So these flows are the one that will present to the user uh, on the same page for sign up, sign in, forgot password, or to edit your profile, all those things, right? So you can choose any of the built-in to create the user flows. It is advisable to choose the built-in, not to build from scratch from ourselves. So I clicked on sign up, sign in and uh, go, went with the recommended version. It is very easy. You just need to name a flow here. The, for the sign up, sign in flow, you have to provide a name. And there is a prefix already added, B2C underscore one underscore and then followed by the name that we are going to provide. Okay, so I'm going to provide sign up, sign in. Okay, there is a reason why I'm stressing this. These names are useful and have to be uh, exactly same when we configure it in our application. Now, if you see, there is a option called uh, email sign up and, uh, and there is an identity provider called Google. Google I've already set up, that's why it's showing up. But when you do, it won't show up. Uh, it's gonna be the email sign up only. And for a moment, do not activate any MFA here, multi-factor authentication, just leave it in off state. And you see this, under the fifth one, there is something called collect attributes and return claims. Collect attributes, the whatever you choose here, right? That is what will be presented to the users. We saw it in the demo app. And uh, you can collect these information to the user. And written claims is the uh, these information returned in our JWT token. So that we can access and do some nice information. Okay, so the user flow is created now. Okay, now we will uh, similarly create another two user flows. One is for the profile editing and one is for the password reset. I clicked on profile editing. It's almost same. Let's name it as profile edit. Okay, so I'm going to name it as profile edit and it is all same. Go with email signing. Do not choose the identity provider because for you it will not show up if you're doing it for the first time. And here, this is profile editing, right? Not all the attributes has to be presented for the users to be edited. So if we have collected 10 and if you want only one or two to be uh, allowed to be edited, you can show those things. And if you click on this show more, it will show up all these things. These things you would have picked up in the sign up sign in page also. Okay, so we can pick up whatever we want and whichever is useful for our application. So for now, for this profile editing, I'm going to allow them to, uh, you know, edit the given name. That's why I choose only the given name. Okay, uh, or I would choose the display name as well. And um, let's allow both the things to be edited and click on create. The user flow is created in a few seconds. All right, it is created. Now let's quickly click on this and finish up the password reset as well. Okay, so for the password reset, again, we have to give the same name. We have to choose the uh, local account for the reset. Uh, Azure will expect user to be logged in or allow us to authenticate ourselves for the email that we wanted to reset uh, so that it will, it will secure the user's uh, email. So we have created all the three user flows. We will show you how these user flows are in useful for our application. So the next one, so this clip is done. The next clip is to register our applications and see how to test the user flows. Thanks for watching. If you like my video, don't forget to subscribe my channel, like it, share it, comment it, and never forget to click on the bell icon.